March 17th is St. Patrick's Day. But who is St. Patrick? St. Patrick lived in the 4th and 5th century. He was born actually in Roman Britain. His father was a deacon and his grandfather was actually a priest. At 16, he was carried off by Irish raiders and kept as a slave in Ireland. During his captivity in Ireland, that is when he discovered Christianity and started praying daily. Six years into his captivity, he heard a voice telling him to flee. So he escaped from his master, went to the coast where he found a ship waiting for him. St. Patrick returned home where he joined a monastery and studied for 12 years. Later on, he had a dream. A man carrying several letters gave him one of them. The letter was a plea from the people of Ireland to walk amongst them once more. Therefore, he returned to Ireland where he built many churches and preached all across the country. There are several myths associated with St. Patrick. One of the myths associated with St. Patrick was that he drove all the snakes out of Ireland. However, fossil records show that there were no snakes on Ireland to begin with. Many people believe that this is a metaphor and that the snakes are actually pagans. It is also believed that he used the shamrock to explain the Holy Trinity of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Another legend associated with St. Patrick was that he used to carry a dead ash walking stick. He would plant this walking stick and preach to the people. In one place, it took so long to get the message through to the people that the walking stick actually grew roots and turned into a tree. St. Patrick retired and died around March 17th 461 AD. St. Patrick's Day became an official holiday in Ireland in 1903. It is a public holiday in Ireland, Northern Ireland, Newfoundland, Labrador, and Montserrat. Elsewhere, it is not a legal public holiday. However, it is celebrated from the United States to Japan to Argentina. During St. Patrick's Day, there are parades, drinking of much green beer, and wearing of green, which is rather unusual because this color associated most to St. Patrick is actually blue. This was probably changed later on because green is associated most with Ireland. Happy St. Patrick's Day!